Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video tutorial and in this video lesson we're going to create this super easy and creative slideshow so you can use it in your videos, promo, slideshow and so many more. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you can always get notified whenever I post a new clip. Also, I want to thank you for watching my videos and for supporting my channel. So let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first, like always, we're going to create a new composition. Hit this uh, little icon here or control or command plus N on your keyboard to create a new composition. Uh, this will be full HD of uh, 60 frames uh, per second and duration about 20 seconds long and we will rename it Final. Hit OK and now we will create another comp, hit here and then for this composition name we will rename it Media01 and also 60 frames per second and for duration maybe about 5 seconds long. Hit OK and now it's time to uh, import uh, our media here in our Media01 composition. I already have my footage here, of course you will import your own footage, but for this tutorial uh, purpose I have uh, media from pexels.com, drag and drop in our timeline, uh, hit S and adjust it if you need, but um, my media is fitting perfectly. And our next step is to import our media 01 here in our final composition. Okay, now it's time to uh, open up our rulers here in our uh, comp final composition. Go to view and then uh, hit here show rulers or control plus R is shortcut. And we will uh, uh, draw a few masks here in our finals. Uh, hit Q on your keyboard or go here uh, to grab a rectangle tool and hold uh, space on your keyboard and move it on your left mouse uh, cursor. And we will draw a line maybe to around, as you can see, it's, uh, this is uh, 100, this is 200, and maybe to around 180. We will draw uh, six of our masks. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect, but we will draw maybe to around 180 or so. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, our first mask here in our finals, and we will rename it Media01 plus mask 01. Okay, our next step is to duplicate this uh, mask uh, 01, hit control plus D or go here and edit and then duplicate, this will be our mask 02 and then open up this little triangle, go to our mask, hit here to, to mask 01 or just hit M, hit here and then M to show up, to show up our mask and this is really important step, do not grab this uh, composition here, this uh, layer composition mask 02, just grab this mask 01. When you grab this mask 01, hold shift and down arrow key to reposition our mask 02. And make sure that uh, our masks are overlapped here in our finals. Uh, this is our second step and also the next thing what we're gonna do is to duplicate uh, mask 02. This will be mask 03. Uh, repeat uh, the, the process, hit M on your keyboard, grab this mask, hold down arrow key on your keyboard, reposition like so and also we will uh, Continue with the, uh, these steps for uh, three times. Hit M again and then move this mask to around here like so. And also we will duplicate again mask 05. Hit M and then move it down. And also for the sixth one, control plus D here, media 01 plus mask 05, hit M on your keyboard, grab it here and move it down like so. Okay, now it's time to animate this, uh, those masks here in our finals, go to around 2 seconds, 
grab all those uh, layers here in our finals, hit P for position and uh, set up our first uh, keyframe like so and just uh, go to X parameter here on zero frames and move it on the left side. You can also hold shift on your keyboard to uh, fasten our animation like so. Our next step is to grab all those keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard and go to graph editor. If you can see curve like this, right click and then edit speed graph. Uh, grab this one and draw a curve like so. Now when we hit zero, we have this cool and creative animation. Okay, now it's time to reposition our layers here in our finals. For this one, we will uh, we will leave it to zero frames, second one first frames, uh, this one here, this one third, and this one fourth, and this one fifth uh, key frame, fifth uh, a frame like so. And now when we hit zero, we have this really cool and awesome animation. Also important step is to hit here on toggle switches and modes and uh, turn on the motion blur for all of our layers also here enable it and then uh, also for uh, each layer grab this motion blur icon. Our next step is to uh, grab all of those uh, six layers, right click and then pre-compose, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and I will rename it media01 plus elements, hit ok. And next thing what we can do is to duplicate this uh, media 01, go edit and then duplicate and for our upper layer do like so and we will just add fill effect for our bot bottom layer, find in effects and preset fill effect, drag and drop in our timeline and as you can see we have this really cool and awesome animation. Of course you you can change your colors here, but I will leave it maybe to red one. Now when we hit zero, we have this cool and creative animation. Okay, our next step is going to be to create our uh, first text layer here in our finals. I will close those uh, rulers for now, go view and then uh, go view and then show rulers or control plus R, okay and then hit Ctrl plus T on your keyboard or go here on horizontal type tool like so. And I'm using this Rembank font. You can find it on dafont.com. It's free uh, for free, uh, commercial and personal use. Okay, and I will type my text creative slideshow like so. Okay, now it's time to add a little bit of shadow here. Uh, type drop shadow and drag and drop here in our creative slideshow for distance go around 10 for softness maybe around 20 you can play around according your needs according your uh, wishes 10 and 20 it's good for me and also align it here in our finals if you can find this align ta uh, tab go to window and then hit here align okay and now we will animate this uh, uh, creative slideshow text, go to around three seconds, uh, hit P for position, set up our first keyframes, go to around zero seconds and move this X uh, parameter here like so. Okay, now grab all those two keyframes, hit F9 for easy ease. And now we have this, uh, this basic animation also, we will do a few adjustments here in graph editor, grab all of those two keyframes and draw a curve like so. Okay, now when we hit zero, we have something like this really cool and creative. Okay, now it's time to add a little uh, tracking for this uh, creative slideshow text. But before that, I will just enter this media O1 plus elements, hit Control plus K and for this duration I will do 5 seconds, 0, 5, K and uh, here in our finals our media of 1 plus elements is going to be also 5 seconds long. Okay, uh, for this creative slideshow hit this little triangle, go to animate and then find tracking 
and uh, go to first uh, frame here and for this tracking amount uh, hit the, this little stopwatch and go to around 5 seconds or so and type here maybe around 25 like so now when we hit zero we have this cool and creative animation like so also what we can do is to grab all those two media o one plus elements right click and pre-compose it once again i will rename it part 01 make sure to move, move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and for the part 01 also go here hit ctrl plus k and also do it five seconds like like before and when we're back here in a uh, final it will be five seconds long okay go to around five seconds hit s on your keyboard for scale parameter set up our first keyframe uh 100 go to around first frame here 125 or so and now when we hit zero we have this cool and creative animation all right guys our final step is going to be to create a little bit of shadow here on our composition edges but before that you can uh, lower this uh, creative slideshow for duration you can hold shift on your keyboard and it will be here about the same size like this part 01 uh, composition you can also pre-compose it once again if you want uh, grab those two and then pre-compose once again and we will call it slide 01 hit ok go into the slide 01 hit ctrl plus k and we will also uh, lower the duration for about five seconds or so and in our finals now we have this slide 01 you can also duplicate it to create slide 2 3 4 or 5 to create your own slideshow and also go here in slide 01 right click and then new and find here adjustment layer i will hit enter and uh, rename it spotlight or so and go here in effects and preset and find cc spotlight drag and drop onto our spotlight adjustment layer and you can play around with those handles like so i really like this effect for this uh, intensity i will do maybe around 50 uh, for the cone angle you can play around for edge softness around 100 or so and this is looking really really cool to me all right guys uh, this was super easy technique to create uh, and i hope you learned something new in today's video if you like this video hit that like button also comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button also turn on the bell icon so you will always be notified whenever i post a new clip uh, all right uh, this was everything for today's uh, tutorial and uh, i want to thank you again for watching this video also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials and until next time stay creative and bye bye